Individual instructions on eFootball 2023 can make the difference in your team being a winning one. Hello and welcome to gaming and welcome to another eFootball tips and tricks video. And today we're talking about the individual instruction anchoring. Now the anchoring instruction is a bit of a strange one because it's listed in the attacking options. But I actually use this myself as more of a defensive measure. In the description for anchoring, it does suggest that you use it on centre forward to stop them drifting wide or to use it on wingers to stop them drifting inside. And it can be very effective used in that manner if that's how you want your attacking players to play. But I actually use it on my defensive midfield player. Now, similar to my previous video, which was individual instructions offensive, where my player was already an offensive minded player. I play with an anchor man defensive midfield player, which means naturally they are going to sit just in front of the defense and not drift too much. Having said that, in this example that I'm showing you today, I'm actually using Kante, who has a box to box midfield role and not the anchor man role. But traditionally, I would use an anchor man. But actually, what the anchoring instruction does is stops your defensive midfielder from drifting wide left or wide right. They stay very central during the game. And you can see that here with my example. So in my first game, I had the anchoring instruction on and you can see that Kante is very much through the middle during all the play. Even when he does slightly get more forward, he just sticks through the center of the pitch. It can be so helpful for quick counters from your opponent to have an anchor man with the anchoring instruction on as they're there just to protect your defense. Now looking at the other game where the instruction wasn't on, and you can see that Kante does actually drift into the other midfield positions. And this can leave you vulnerable. If your defensive midfield player is drifting out of position, then there's gonna be a bit of a gap in front of your defense. So this is another personal favorite of mine, an instruction that I use quite regularly. And again, it depends on your formation. You might not play with a defensive midfield player. And that's where I would recommend you Try this instruction out with some of your forward players. You could even use it on an attacking midfield player so that they literally sit in the middle of the pitch behind the strikers. As with all these individual instructions, I recommend you test them out on different players and see how it has an effect on the way your team plays. And that's my explanation of the individual instruction anchoring on eFootball 2023. Let me know in the comments below if this has helped you out. Maybe leave a like if it did and recommend any other individual instructions that you'd like me to explain. See you in the next video.